Last year, I talked about how going remote is actually better than going vegan, and it's true. Fahim isn't uh, looking for a handout. He, he, he looks for work. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, we have been working on this for me and Igor and Anna and Tammy and everyone else have been working on this for uh, literally the last, well, since the last one started, and I'm so excited to have everybody here. It's kind of one of those moments of relief where you can get everyone in one place uh, for one particular time. We're really excited about having you here. Uh, we actually have people from 38 different countries that have flown in here today, and I'm sure that a lot of you are probably pretty jet-lagged. Uh, that are coming in from all different places all over the world. We're going to be going through the ground rules of running remote. First of all, for anyone that's kind of new to the process, who has never attended last year's event? Okay. And how many are alumnists from the previous year? All right. Cool. Yeah. So, fantastic. <clears throat> okay. Welcome to Running Remote, everybody. Thank you very much. So, for those of you that are jet lagged, we're here. We're in Bali. Don't know if anyone knew that, but we're in this beautiful island in Indonesia that has really become the nucleus of remote work in the digital nomad movement and a whole bunch of other movements. It's one of the most beautiful places on planet Earth, in my opinion, and I'm so excited that everyone has flown so far to be able to come here. So I want to play a little bit of a game. I want to play a who flew in the longest. Uh, so, Southeast Asian countries, can I see you guys, hands up. Okay, pretty good representation. How about Australia? Oh, lots of Australians, Rob will love that. Um, <clears throat> how about Europeans? That's a pretty good mix, too. Okay. Uh, how about Africa? Yeah. Okay. Africa. Cool. And how about North America? Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. How about South America? Yeah. All right. So between North America and South America, who had more than 30 hours of travel time? Can you put your hands up? Okay. How about 32 hours of travel time? Keep your hands up. How about 34 hours of travel time? Mm, okay. How about 36 hours? 38, we're down to three. 38 hours. We've got two people that I think traveled together. <laughs> how many hours, Trenio, how many hours? Really loud. Four days. Okay, can we get them a t-shirt at least? Get them some t-shirts. Thank you very much, four days, that's fantastic. All right. <clears throat> so just to kind of give you a little bit of a context, um, this is the current best idea that we have of distribution for remote work around the world. And this is our breakdown for this year. So we really improved in Asia last year versus this year, which has been fantastic. But the African core has some serious work to do. We need to be able to really improve the representation inside of Africa, uh, something that I'm very passionate about because I think it's actually one of the biggest avenues towards expanding out remote work. So I want to talk about the mission statement of running remote. Namely, it is we want to empower people to work wherever they want, whenever they want. And that's something that we're accomplishing with four separate categories or goals. <clears throat> so goal one is we want to get people up and running. So we're going to be having a lot of talks about if you don't know how to actually take your team remote, if you're an on-premise team right now and you want to go remote, we're going to have a lot of talks about that particular subject to be able to get you up and running, get you to the point where you can hire remote employees 
efficiently. Second is we want to get you scaling. So if you're already a remote company right now, a remote first company, and maybe you've got 10 people, but you want to get to 20 people, or you're at 20 people, and you want to get to 100 people, we're going to have a lot of talks about that too. Uh, so I think that's also going to be quite interesting. We've got a couple that I'm, I'm very excited about. Third goal is we want people to get clear. So what is the best way to be able to run a remote first meeting? What's what are some ways that people do it versus other ways that people do it? Maybe developers communicate in one way and customer support agents communicate in a completely different way. <clears throat> We're going to have a lot of talks about that as well. And then the fourth goal for us is we want people to get spreading the message of remote work. So we feel it's a movement. It's not just sort of like an HR perk. And for us, this is something that we're very passionate about. And we would love it if you guys were passionate about it as well. We're going to have a lot of people that are going to be helping us uh, with this. We've got Amir from Doist. We've got Nick from Help Scout, Mariano from Mural, Jonathan from Trainual, Marcy from Shopify, Marvin from 500, Ken from Hotjar, Andreas from Angel.co, and Zach from Tribble. And we've got a ton of other people. This is just a small smattering of the people that are going to be joining us uh, to help us with those goals over the next two days. Also, I want to thank the sponsors. Um, without them, this would not be possible. So we've got Mural, Twist, Trainual, the Republic of Estonia. We literally have like governments helping us, which is pretty cool. We've got One Office, We Remote, Pay Staff, Igloo, Livet. We work remotely. Livet has actually been a fantastic local partner of ours. Um, there are a lot of the staff that are around here right now and have been helping us out a ton. So without them, we could not have been able to accomplish this. Also. We've got Dojo, Balsamic, Code Mentor, Slido, Workplaceless, Quickie, Remo, Remote How, and Meter. A lot of these guys are out in the garden, so I highly suggest you go check them out. Um, they are the tools and infrastructure that you need to be able to continue to build your remote team. So um, please go check them out outside. Also, I don't know if everyone's on Twist. Um, who here is not on Twist? OK, cool. So you guys didn't get the 17 emails that we sent you. Uh, you go to runningremote.com slash twist, and that's where you're going to be able to find out everything that you need to know about where the meetups are happening, what the cool stuff, cool stuff that's happening, the maybe the not cool stuff that's happening. Um, it's a fantastic platform specifically for asynchronous remote communication. And if you were on Twist, you would know, like, here is a complete breakdown of all the process documentation tools for remote teams. We're having a debate about that right now. We also have uh, Maximilian. He gave a, a great breakdown of how he hires remotely, his process for hiring remotely. If you were on Twist, you would have known that Sofitel was sold out about a month ago. And the only room that is currently available is the presidential suite. Did anyone get it? No? You got the presidential suite? Can I go see it later? <laughs> Thank you. I think Obama slept there. OK, cool. I definitely have to. Also, uh, Tammy from Workplaces, who is our wonderful MC, she has been, uh, she's going to be helping us through the entire presentation. She also has a fantastic learning plan. So if you go to bit.ly slash RR learn plan, you'll be able to download that. We're trying to save trees. It's a 17 page document, but that's really important. It's a great tool to be able to use to be able to get as much as humanly possible out of these talks. In this room, we represent about 50,000 employees just the founders and the companies inside of this room, which is pretty fantastic. Um, that also works out to about a $400 billion valuation from all the associated companies in this room. Uh, I don't think Google is here because I think they, got, they, they were not able to fly in or they had issues with flying in, but they're about half that valuation. But I thought I'd throw it in there anyways. Uh, and then we're, we're majority remote. It's 60% is majority remote, which is very exciting as well. So what's the impact? Last year, I talked about how going remote is actually better than going vegan, and it's true. Yeah. So you save about eight tons of carbon by going remote. So you literally reduce yourself from 12 or 20 units of carbon, tons of carbon, to 11.78. That works out to about 589,000 tons of carbon saved just in this room. 
and that's like taking 128,000 cars off the road. And then 30% of our teams here are fully remote. So if we can actually move that number from 30 to 40 to 50%, we can definitely save a lot more uh, carbon. So we are here in Bali today, but I want to end with a, a quick little story. So Marilyn, who's a alumnus of, of Running Remote, that's her, she lives in <clears throat> Bangladesh. And I know a lot of you have probably not been to Bangladesh because that's actually where Bangladesh is. And Marilyn introduced us to uh, someone who has really encapsulated the mission statement of running remote and what it means to be able to work wherever you want, whenever you want, with dignity. And we made a short film about our friend Fahim. Is it okay if I show it to you guys? Does, I mean, yes? Yeah? yeah? yeah. Okay, great. Uh, you guys ready? <clears throat> Are you ready? Yeah. So you think that I am done? You don't know me. All my life, I had to fight. No one believed in me. So I had to believe in myself. My physical condition broke me, but it made me mentally stronger. My weakness were crushing me, but that only made me smarter. And you think I am done? Dear world, I have one thing to say. I am not like you, because I am not you. I am fine, and this is my story. Amar doctor name holo Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Tarpor eta eta genetic disorder. যার ফলে এর কোনো কিউর নির্দিষ্ট কোনো কিউর নাই তখন আমি ক্লাস 8 এ পড়ি তখন জেএসসি পরীক্ষার ঠিক 3 থেকে 4 দিন আগে আমার আর মানে আটা চলে একদমই বন্ধ হয়ে যায় কিন্তু আটা চলে বন্ধ হয়ে যাওয়ার কারণে আমার লেখাপড়া আর কন্টিনিউ করা হয় নাই টিভিতে স্টিফেন হকিংস সম্পর্কে জানতে পারি তার স্টোরিটা আমার মতো ছিল যে আমারও আশা জাগে যে সে যেহেতু পারছে আমিও পারবো সে তখন থেকে আমি তাকে ইন্সপিরেশন হিসেবে ধরে নেই তারপর দুই হাজার চোদ্দো সালে আমি একটা অ্যান্ড্রয়েড ফোন কিনি ইন্টারনেট সম্পর্কে জানতে পারি ইন্টারনেটে যুক্ত হই তারপরে ফেসবুক গুগল ইত্যাদি সম্পর্কে জানতে পারি ফেসবুকের ফেসবুকের একটি বিজ্ঞাপন থেকে আমি জানতে পারি যে অনলাইনের মাধ্যমে উপার্জন করা সম্ভব তো আমারও তখন আশা জাগে যে অন্যরা যেহেতু ঘরে বসে করছে আমিও নিজে আমিও নিজে চেষ্টা করলে পারবো ছিলাম যে মোবাইল দিয়ে হয়তো উপার্জন করা সম্ভব কিন্তু কিছুদিনের চেষ্টার পরে আমি ব্যর্থ হই জানতে পারি যে না সম্ভব না দুই হাজার ষোলো সালে আমার আম্মু কাঁথা সেলাই করে কিছু টাকা জমিয়েছিল সেইগুলো সেইগুলো দিয়ে ল্যাপটপ কেনা হয় ল্যাপটপ কেনার পর কেনার পরও আমার কাজ শেখার জন্য ইন্টারনেটের দরকার ছিল কিন্তু তখনও ইন্টারনেট কেনা সম্ভব ছিল না আমি একটা ডিভিডি সম্পর্কে জানতে পারি সেই ডিভিডি থেকে তিন মাস মতো কাজ আমি প্রতিদিন শিখি তারপরেও আমি শুধু বিজনেস কাটার ব্যানার ডিজাইন শিখে মার্ক ফাইবার অ্যাকাউন্ট খুলি অ্যাকাউন্ট খোলার কয় পরের দিনই আর কি প্রথম কাজ পাই বা আর অনেক খুশি হয় আমার কাজ দেখে আমি ভাবছিলাম হয়তো আমাকে তো সম্ভব না কিন্তু মানে আমি নিজেও অবাক হয়ে গেছিলাম যে আমি কিভাবে এটা করলাম আমি আমার পরিবারের জন্য একটা জমি জমি কিনি বাড়ি করার জন্য ভবিষ্যৎ প্ল্যান হচ্ছে যে আমার মতো যারা আছে বা অনেক বাংলাদেশে বেকার রুত্তের অনেক সমস্যা আমার ইচ্ছা যে তাদের পাশে দাঁড়ানো এবং বাংলাদেশকে রিপ্রেজেন্ট করে বিশ্বের দরবারে তুলে ধরা So Fahim isn't uh, looking for a handout. He, he looks for work. This is his Fiverr profile. 
He has 322 reviews. He has a 4.9 star rating. And he really encapsulates what we see as the mission statement of running remote and working remotely, namely everyone having the ability to be able to work wherever they want, whenever they want, regardless of their condition. So this is his Fiverr profile. Uh, if you go to running, uh, youtube.com slash running remote, we currently have that short that just went live in the last five minutes. And we'd love it if you could grab that video or you could grab his Fiverr profile. Just include hire Fahim. And I think literally within this group, we could make sure that he never runs out of work ever again. Uh, thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. Uh, I know that you guys are here today, but the impact that you're making is for people like Fahim long term. So thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the conference. And uh, I hope that I can talk to you over the next couple of days. Thanks. Yeah. Burn a thing or two.